We've seen thousands of deaths over the last few months due to the coronavirus pandemic, but another crisis is causing us to lose our neighbors as well, the opioid epidemic. I talked to some frontline workers about the problem and how tackling it has shifted a bit in the wake of COVID-19. Increased isolation, anxiety, uncertainty, those are all underlying you know, psychiatric conditions that lead to substance abuse and substance misuse. Corbin Petro, CEO of Eleanor Health, says the coronavirus pandemic is putting a strain on many people, with some choosing to cope with illicit substances. We're seeing it in the general public. We're seeing it in um, enhanced need from our own community members. Chase Holloman with Guilford County Solutions to the Opioid Problem, or GC Stop, says the problem is growing. Guilford County EMS gave a record-breaking 594 people the opioid overdose reversal drug naloxone in the last six months. It's very concerning uh, being an overdose survivor myself. It's very important to me that everyone else get the same opportunities to change their life that I did. On top of that, Holloman says GC Stop members have administered 220 naloxone doses in the last three months. More than likely, they did not call EMS, so there is definitely an undercount of overdoses as far as coming from first responders. For those seeking help, Petro says pandemic-related changes at doctor's offices led to slightly relaxed medication regulations. Prior to COVID, um, many of the medications that are used in this space, Suboxone, Buprenorphine, you had to come and meet, meet a, a clinician in person in order to get your first prescription. Those regulations have been suspended um, during this, this environment, and so we can treat somebody completely virtually. But Holloman says that's only part of the solution. There's a limited number of providers, a limited number of slots. A lot of the programs have really intense barriers that people cannot surmount in order to get treatment from their programs. In order to treat the issue, Holloman says it needs to be approached differently with access to treatment at the forefront. There's complete discrimination and widespread medical negligence. We don't treat this health issue the same as any other health issue in the United States. Um, we put people in cages more often than we give people the health care they deserve. Petro says Eleanor Health is now offering free virtual support groups to anyone battling substance abuse disorder. I'll link you to that information in this story on our website. I also want to add that you can still visit Eleanor Health's clinic in High Point in person if need be.